Hey guys, let's talk about the Casa camera that won't connect to the Wi-Fi. So if you're trying to connect using the Casa app, it's not working, this video is for you. So basically here I have the Casa app and the Casa camera. And here I have a router. This is Xfinity router. And here I have a repeater, okay? So let me just explain how it works. Basically a camera like this needs to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network, right? So your router like this one, comes with two different networks, 2.4 gigahertz, that's the band that the, the router works with, right? And you also have two gigahertz. And when you take a look here on your phone, for example, you're gonna see the signal from your router, okay? Here I see the signal for the repeater, this guy here. And here I see the signal for the, the router itself, directly from the router. See here that I have this name, I just use this name to keep people away from my router, right? And you see, after I refresh, I have two of them. So one is 2.4 and the other one is five gigahertz. I named them differently so I can uh, find the different ones, right? At first, when you have your signal, you're gonna see just one. The router comes like this with just one signal. And then when your camera tries to connect to the router, the router is going to decide, hey camera, you can connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network because you only work with 2.4 gigahertz. So one signal, and then the camera is going to negotiate with the router, right? But sometimes that doesn't work. And then you have a problem. What you can do here is split the signal, just like I have here, I have two of them. Which one? I'm sure that this one is 2.4 and I'm sure this one is five gigahertz. So I can connect the camera directly to the 2.4 gigahertz one, okay? So the way to do this is just use an app. Let's say here, I wanna split the signal. I can use the Xfinity app. If you have a different router, you need to find out how you can do that. But basically here with the Xfinity, you come here to the Wi-Fi and here on Wi-Fi details, you see that I have different signals. This one is 2.4 gigahertz. That's the name of the signal, as you saw there on my cell phone. This one is five gigahertz and I even has, have a six gigahertz band, right? My phone can see those twos, can't see this one, right? My computer can't see all of them and the camera can see only this one. That's why sometimes your camera is not connecting because your signal is not split and this negotiation is not working. So basically here, when I get into this configuration, I can come here to edit Wi-Fi settings. And here you see that I have this option to split bands, which is not recommended because you're gonna have more than one signal. But at first, your router comes with this disable here. So you have just one signal that you can see. And then uh, later after this, the router is going to decide which one your device needs to connect to, right? So I prefer to split the signal here, then I can name different signals with different band, right? 2.4 and five gigahertz. Once I have this working, then I can connect my app to the correct signal, which is 2.4 gigahertz, right? And it's pretty simple. Then I just need to come here to my Casa app and start the process. Let me just uh, come here to the camera. And here I'm going to put this up and reset the camera. So I just need to press here and hold. And you see the LED is going to start flashing. There we go, green and orange. And now the camera is ready to connect to the Wi-Fi, okay? So I come here to the Casa app. And here you're gonna need to add a new camera. Here, select device, cameras, Casa spot, pan and tilt. That's the camera that I have here. Next, it's flashing green and orange. So I'm good to go. I just click here. And here is the first thing that I have to do is to connect to the camera first. That's the camera signal, not your Wi-Fi, right? And then after this, when they are connected, and then the camera can receive the information about which router to connect to, right? So here I need to come to the Wi-Fi signal and select the one that represents the camera. That's the one. So right now the cell phone is connected to the camera and I come back to the app, and here I, ta I tap, I'm already connected. And now the cell phone is connecting directly to the camera, okay? That's the first step, very important. And here I'm not resetting the camera because I just want to change the Wi-Fi. 
So I hit here, do not reset. And now I can choose, you see here I have my repeater, which is also 2.4 gigahertz. I'm talking about this guy here. And then I have the Wi-Fi here at 2.4, directly here from my router, right? That I split the signal. So I have 2.4 and the cell phone cannot see right now the five gigahertz, right? So I need to refresh and then it can see it. But basically I need to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz. I'm connecting to this one. And here I have the password for the Wi-Fi. Now the camera again is going to receive this information. Okay, I need to connect to this signal and I need to use this password, right? Just make sure that I have the correct password and just hit join. And now it's connecting to the camera, okay? And you see the LED is going to change the status here. Now it's just flashing green, not orange anymore. And it's connecting, right? After this, I'm going to name my camera and I can like set up the rest of the things here. I just skip the steps and I'm good to go. Now it's steady green. So something's working pretty fine. You see, I can name my camera now, save, put it here at the office. Let me just move the camera to this direction here. So you see some things in the background there. And then now I just need to skip those steps. I can do this later. Sounds good. Skip this one as well. Come here to the camera. Skip this step. Again, back to the camera and there we go. Now I have my camera working back there. I'm just move my hand here. You see it? That's working. Okay. But basically what I did was just split the channels, right? So I have the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And now I'm sure that the camera is connecting directly to the 2.4 gigahertz signal, all right? I don't know if you have Xfinity router there or different router, but that's the way you can make sure that the camera is connecting to the correct Wi-Fi and also make sure you have the correct password. I hope this helps, okay? That's the way you can fix the problem with your Casa camera when you want to connect the Wi-Fi. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your comments there, and I see you in the next video.